Greetings, dear friends! I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Hyundai Sonata. Transmission Sonata NF doesn't shine with complex technical solutions. The drive can only be front, but there are several boxes. With gasoline engines, the manual transmission could only be 5-speed. With a diesel engine, 6-speed mechanics could be obtained. And in addition, two types of automatic machines can be found on the Sonata NF, 4 and 5-speed. The mechanical part of the transmission is showing itself quite well so far, and all the malfunctions that can occasionally be found are not too serious. The surest resource is 180 to 150,000 mileage, unless of course their covers are intact and there is lubricant inside. There are practically no damages of the splines of the shafts in this generation. 5-speed manual transmissions have proven to be quite reliable. Of the serious shortcomings, I will only note the tendency to oil leaks on aging machines and in the case of a missed oil level or a rare replacement, problems with the differential and bearings are possible. The wear of the synchronizer somewhat worsens the operation of the box closer to 200,000 mileage, and the drive to this mileage is very loose, but serious breakdowns are rare. But the clutch, its drive and dual mass flywheels cannot boast of a resourced and low cost. The hydraulic clutch with a damper is not very successful, it doesn't work very adequately, so many owners will remove it. A dual mass flywheel can start tapping after hundreds of thousands of mileage, and by 150-200 it will probably have to be replaced, as well as the clutch kit. But pay attention, if you buy parts separately, then the cost of the clutch, basket and flywheel will go well beyond 60,000 rubles. Clutch kits from Valio, Luke, HDDK01, HDDK02 come to the rescue, the price of which is quite reasonable at 17-25,000 rubles. Any of these kits allows you to completely restore the mechanism and their resource doesn't differ from the factory one. The Santa Fe diesel damper clutch kit unfortunately doesn't fit here. The hydraulic squeeze, despite the range, the rather large cost is a reliable thing, but at least sometimes it is necessary to change the brake fluid and pump it over. In principle, leaks are rare, but the appearance of the part after 150 to 100,000 mileage is usually ugly, all in mud and traces of fluid drips. With normal maintenance, it may well, it may well live up to a run of 300,000 km. Automatic transmissions on the NF were of two types. With 2 liter engines, they installed the old F4A42 box as on the previous generation cars, and with 2.4 and 3.3 liter engines, there were 5 speed automatic transmissions of a related design A5GF1, A5HF1. In principle, the boxes of these two families differ minimally, and they are all based on the design of the successful 4 speed F4A42. Nothing bad can be said about 4 speed gearboxes, they are very reliable. Usually, there are only minor failures of speed sensors and solenoids, but the repairs are inexpensive. For those who like to drive, problems with the needle bearing of the overdrive planetary output drum are possible, as a result of which the box suffers greatly, but this happens very rarely with boxes after 2004. With frequent oil changes, the automatic transmission can be considered almost eternal. Wimps are mainly associated with, with severe oil contamination and operating errors. When buying, you should look at the magnets of the automatic transmission in order to exclude the most serious troubles, but otherwise there is nothing to be afraid of, especially since on the Sonata NF this box works only with the weakest motor. Failure of the bearing on these machines is also possible, but here in addition the load on the planetary gears is higher and the wear of the gas turbine engine is more intense. The well body is tuned more aggressively. As a result, the solenoids have to be changed more often, especially the EPC, and it is desirable to change the oil and filter very often. If four-stage gearboxes only at a very middle age require an oil change more often than once every 50,000, then for a five-speed gearbox, this is a very desirable service interval from the very beginning. The box with a 3.3-liter engine is distinguished by a weld body, a different number of clutches in the packages, and in later versions, modified planetary gears. Its resource is less than that of an automatic transmission for 2.4 liter engines and noticeably higher engine torque effects. Accordingly, contract automatic transmissions are usually in not very good condition, but with a 2.4 liter engine, the boxes of this service serve very well, and their resource with normal maintenance may be consistently high. The common problem area for all engines of the Hyundai Sonata NF is the cooling system. After 6 to 8 years of operation, the not very high quality of rubber and plastic begins to affect. The likelihood of system leaks and overheating of motors increases. Antifreeze should be changed every 3 years, and the condition of the pipes should be monitored constantly. 
Also pay attention to the condition of the radiator fence and the radiator itself when purchasing. The fans were noisy and backlash even on 5-year-old cars and now many Sonata have non-original parts. By the age of 10 on cars with old motors, it would be nice to have thermostats replaced. This part is not expensive, but old motors they sometimes wedge. When replacing, it is better to choose thermostats at 87 degrees. These motors are sensitive to knock. Pay attention to the engine firmware. There are very strange options from garage craftsmen among the people designed to turn off the second lambda and remove the catalyst. Some of them are distinguished by openly barbaric settings that are harmful to the engine. In Russia, you can find a car with one of three motors. These are inline fours of the Theta series with a volume of 2.0 and 2.4 liters and a top end V6 engine with a volume of 3.3 liters of the Lambda series. The Theta series inline fours are the brainchild of global engineering in the early 2000s. They were developed by Hyundai KM together with Daimler Chrysler and Mitsubishi. By design, the motors are quite traditional. An aluminum block, cast iron, thin walled liners, a cylinder head with phase regulators, a timing chain drive. True, there are versions of these engines with supercharging and direct injection. Engines J4KA 2.0 and J4KC 2.4 are a typical set of design solutions of their time. Electronic throttle, individual ignition coils, plastic inlet, one-way layout with an outlet behind the engine. True, the pump is in the hot zone, but this doesn't particularly bother it. On pre-styling cars, the release is arranged a little more tenacious, but in any case, there are two lambda probes. Everything in general is usually, if not for one but. Like the Mitsubishi 4B11, 4B12 motors, these engines turn out to be that lottery. Piston group seizure after hundreds of thousands of run unfortunately has become the norm. And 2.4 liter engines also have problems with oil pressure, so here you can feel the delights of scuffing crankshaft necks and even a fist of friendship on your own skin. The incipient noises of the piston group are successfully drowned out by the hard noise of the timing belt without hydraulic lifters and nozzles, so that they cannot always be noticed in time. The reasons for this set phenomenon are not completely clear, and there are several different versions. It usually boils down to this. Since the cylinders only lift up on the loaded side, many believe that it is due to insufficient cylinder lubrication. The motors do not really have oil injectors. Only the Mitsubishi 4B11T supercharged ones have them. In general, the installation of oil injectors seems ineffective, but the pre-styling versions of the motors have a hole in the connecting rod through which the loaded cylinder wall is lubricated. And with such motors, problems appear really less often. Many people blame the increased temperature of the oil. Indeed, the 2-liter engine doesn't have an oil heat exchanger. On the other hand, it is in the 2.4-liter, in which the beddas are found almost more often than in 2-liter. One of the versions claims that the thermal clearances are incorrectly selected for Hyundai engines. This version is supported by the fact that the pistons often have a very worn skirt and the ellipse of the cylinder turns out to be very large. While traditionally for Asian engines, suspicion of all troubles falls on the catalyst, which is really located high here. This version is supported by the fact that on the newer J4KD engines, in which the collector is even higher than that of the J4KA, the piston resource, other things being equal, is even less. It is quite possible that the problem is complex and is also associated with unsuccessful spraying of gasoline and washing off the oil film from the wall. In most cases, the cylinder liner to the nominal size and the installation of pistons with a thermal clearance slightly higher than the nominal allows you to obtain a resource of more than 150 to 100,000 km. By the way, the motor is very convenient to repair. Versions above the inappropriate viscosity of the oil do not stand up to criticism. If you pour SAE20 oils on an engine that is not fully warmed up, the viscosity will be higher than the working one for SAE60 and SAE40 oils. If there is any connection between viscosity and seizure, then it appears only when working at low temperatures. And since many motors still pass their 200-300 thousand kilometers before overhaul, the most likely version of the problem is the operating mode. For example, the absence of warming up in winter is quite capable of causing all of the above consequences, and the manufacturer directly recommends not to warm up the engine before the trip. And the riders, which are more and more on the roads, motors after such a long time no longer live. 
but the minimum warming up allows the problem to be successfully avoided, and on the machines of zealous owners the engine resource is noticeably higher, there are no scoring and increased wear of the piston group. Another problem with these motors is the drop in oil pressure due to wear on the oil pump and balancer shaft assembly. The balancer shaft assembly with a two-section oil pump is another time bomb. Moreover, the block with the number 23-300-25-200 is considered the most problematic. The subsequent versions are much better. True, the price of a new part bites very much, more than 30,000 rubles, and the version of the one on the machine can be checked only by removing the pallet. The clever system with two pump sections and a wedge spool pressure reducing well is extremely unreliable, which leads to a drop in oil pressure and all un the unpleasant consequences. After 2007, a simple oil pump was installed on the 2-liter engine, as on the Theta 2 J4 KD engines. In addition to replacing the balancer shaft unit with a new version, the problem can be solved in two other ways. The installation of a new spring of the pressure reducing value helps a lot, which is recommended to be done after 150-180 thousand mileage with any block of balance shaft. At the same time, you can check the condition of the valve piston by pressing it with your finger and check for smooth movement in the channel. The second option is to install a new bump from J4KD. This operation is noticeably more costly. You will have to replace the crankshaft star 23-121-25-000, the upper part of the crankshaft pan cover with the mount for a new tensioner, install a new pan from 21510-25001 and the old pump 21310-25001 from the KD motor. However, sometimes the drop in oil pressure is associated with the banal drop in the oil level. Motors after 200,000 mileage are prone to ring sticking and good consumption, but the motor doesn't have a level sensor. Adjusting valves at 60-90,000 mileage is not burdensome, but washers are not cheap and it's difficult to do it in garage. Insufficient oil pressure and, and unadjusted valves can also accelerate camshaft wear. Although it is possible to kill the camshafts only with a high mileage, complicated by a disregard for the motor. If the catalysts are removed in time and the engine is serviced normally, it sometimes pleases with a resource for 350,000 km. It's a shame that it lacks stability and teases and a sudden drop in oil pressure always hang over it like a sword of Damocles. On 2.4 liter J4KC engines, the situation is somewhat complicated by attempts to use low viscosity oils, which end in failure. The crankshaft is more loaded here and the oil pump until the very end of the release went in a block with balanced shafts, which increases the number of people affected by the fall of the oil. A seizure inserts almost always end in seizure or even crankshaft breakage. The consequences in the form of a broken block and stalling thread are also quite probable. With the resource, the situation is the same. If you are lucky, it will travel more than 300,000 km, but most often the operation ends either with bully at low mileage or with a drop in oil pressure with runs of 150 to 100,000, after which the engine is sent for repair or to a landfill. The desired oil change interval for all motors of this series is a maximum of 10,000. In summer, low viscosity oils cannot be used, and in winter it is imperative to fill in oil with a viscosity of OW or in extreme cases 5W, and be sure to warm up the engine for at least a couple of minutes. And until it, it is fully warmed up, do not load too much, do not get out of the snow drifts, do not turn the engine raining, especially if you are not sure about the quality and level of oil. And despite the simplicity of the motor, it is not worth servicing it at the dance garage man. It requires cleanliness, accuracy and meticulousness in work. The G6 DB series V6 engines unfortunately suffer from many of the problems of inline force. The oil appetite due to the unsuccessful piston group is present here in full, and a sliced emission of the oil level leads to scuffing of the liners. The resource of the timing chain leaves much to be desired. After hundreds of thousands of kilometers, it may have to be changed. And the engine starts to consume oil even with runs up to hundreds of thousands, especially for racers. Closer to 200, the oil appetite is already stable, at 200-500 grams per thousand kilometers, and with runs of 250-300 thousand, it rises to a liter. There are two catalysts here, and with an oil appetite, they actively begin to dust into the cylinders. The prices for spare parts for this motor are noticeably higher than for fours, and more of them are needed. 
With time with the decarbonization or a good choice of oil, a short change interval and high quality service, the engine can place with a good resource, but unfortunately such options are rare. And contract units are in short supply. Heavy CUV, Kia and Hyundai are in great need of them, on which this engine serve even less than on passenger cars. On this information on the problems of Hyundai Sonata NF is exhausted. If you know more or disagree with what you heard, I'm waiting for you in the comments.